6,000 fans are expected to gather in Westchester for the first Voices of America Country Music Festival. It's one of the ongoing questions from festival goers is where do you park, right? I mean, even if you went to a soccer tournament there, you say the same thing. Where do you park? Well, Kendall Hyde spent the day hanging out with the organizers to get you the answer. This is the first year of the Voices of America Country Music Festival. And when it's the first year and you have such big names, you can expect a crazy turnout. And who else besides Fox 19's Kendall Hyde could get you up close and personal with the main stage as they're getting ready to set it up for Thursday. Now, as you expect with any big time event, there's going to be a big time turnout. And they're expecting 70 to 80,000 people to be in attendance. And when you have that many people, you know there's going to be a lot of money generated throughout the city. Festivals of this size typically will bring in over the first couple of years, probably between 25 and 30 million into the economy, depending on people staying in hotels, buying gas, going to restaurants, things like that. The concert would feature three stages and 34 of today's biggest country music acts from Thursday until Sunday. Old Dominion, Chris Young, Dan and Shay are going to be performing on Sunday, but then we have some amazing up and comers like Lanny Wilson and Gabby Barrett. So. I think we have a little something for everybody. While fans have taken to social media to voice their excitement about the festival, they've also voiced a few concerns over limited parking. Organizers say that for $54 a day, attendees can purchase a parking spot at the local Butler County Parks and several other local parking lots in Westchester. But one local resident says he's offering a better deal. I am going to be loaning some of my yard out to be able to make a little bit of extra money for concert goers to be able to come in and park. In walking distance, Cody Anderson lives about 10 minutes away from Voices of America Park. And for the next four days, he's remodeled his front and backyards to become a parking lot for 25 to 30 festival attendees. $40, obviously we need to adjust that, we can, but at this time, that's pretty much what I'm going for. The idea came to his mind because he saw police placing no parking signs on the street by his house. So he spent Tuesday getting approval from police and city officials on his parking idea. And once approved, he turned to Facebook to inform festival goers about the new parking lot. You always have those haters, but a lot of people are talking about how genius it is. Anderson and his wife recently had a baby and said the four day parking lot is a money from hospital bills and now the family's praying that the cars don't cause too much damage to the grass. Good, thank you. My wife's like, hey, we need to plant some grass. So I've worked all summer to plant grass just to get it to die again for this concert festival. Hopefully my wife will forgive me. Now, if you're coming all four days, Anderson says he has a deal for you. He says he has a $100 parking pass for anybody who's coming all four days. Now, his address is 8000 Castle Lock Lane, just down the street here in Westchester. But for now, reporting to you in Westchester, Kendall High, Fox 19 Now.